I'm a big fan of the Acura TL. This luxury sedan has been retired, but with level-headedness and sensibility and safety largely front and centered, its potent performance capabilities lived discreetly in the background, like a sort of delightful little secret between it and its driver. I tried to drive it often since I considered it to be a benchmark vehicle relative to its market segment and price point. You'll only find the TL in the used market now because Acura retired it as well as the smaller TSX model to clear way for a new one that would fill the space of both. Named after a combination of the names of the TL and TSX that it replaces, this new machine is called the TLX. Here it is, somewhere where it's warm and pretty outside, where you can see it's an Acura right away. Discreetly handsome but not flashy, athletic for sure but not over the top where styling is concerned. Up front, the potent jewel eye signature LED headlights, and in back, no visible tailpipes nodding towards the TLX's environmentally friendly operation. It's a gentlemanly looking ride, and that's whether it's driving around some beautiful mountain roads or thousands of miles away in the dead of a salty northern Ontario winter. How she ride? Well, even the rougher roads in my locale do little to coax excessive roughness and noise from the TLX's suspension, which itself is on the firm and sporty side, but with a thick slab of softness around the edges to support long-haul comfort. If you're after a comfortable highway cruiser that's absolutely happy to be tossed through your favorite winding back road regularly, you will like how this is set up. And though the steering isn't big on feel, it does feel beautifully heavy and locked on at highway speeds. If you're out for a drive with some friends and family, you'll find rear seat and trunk space to be adequate. The trunk is relatively deep and wide, and rear seats should prove just fine for most occupants, though headroom is a little tighter for taller ones. If anyone complains, you can always drown them out with a great big ELS audio system. The cabin is formal and upscale and sophisticated, also a little on the high-tech side with two display screens, a multi-function steering wheel, and this electronic gear shift console that looks like something from the future. Leather and wood and aluminum are all flaunted in here, and in all it's a laid-back and relaxing place to be. You can get a four-cylinder front-drive model with a high-revving 2.4-liter 205-horsepower VTEC engine and four-wheel steering that sharpens up the handling. There's a V6, 3.5 liters with 290 horsepower. You don't get four-wheel steering with the big engine, but you do get super handling all-wheel drive. More on that in a bit. This TLX's big engine has a neat split personality. Drive gently and it's quiet, buttery smooth, and delivers thick and effortless acceleration with minimal pedal input. Or click the integrated dynamic system or IDS button into sport mode and drop the hammer and it's an Acura V6 through and through, ready to eagerly strike at its red line, making a great howl and a notable ramp up of output and sound effects as the VTEC system kicks in at higher revs to enhance engine breathing. It sounds so good I want to let you hear it sing. Listen to this. However you're driving it, the TLX with V6 and all-wheel drive feels abundantly solid and locked on and discreetly potent, though personally, and although it's less powerful, I find the four-cylinder model more all-out fun to drive. Thanks to faster gear shifts from its dual-clutch transmission, the V6 gets a lazier 9-speed automatic. With the four-cylinder, the front is lighter too, so steering is faster and friskier. The gist? Get the four-cylinder if you're after a more involved performance feel, and the six if you're after maximum discrete performance performance and competence. In any case, the frame structure of the TLX is incredibly rigid thanks to next generation design and materials. This makes for a quieter ride, reduced weight and more precise handling which you'll experience on every drive, as well as better crash impact performance which hopefully you won't. Safety is handled by nothing less than the very latest array of outward looking radar hazard detection systems available with features that keep you in your lane, keep you from rear ending or side swiping anyone or even from backing into a laneway while a car is coming along. Winter driving safety was covered nicely with the tester too, thanks partly to the potent LED headlights and their powerful washer system and the set of quality winter tires mounted. These help the ABS and all-wheel drive systems extract more traction from any surface. Stopping? Well, good pedal feel, strong bite and fast stops are a little squirmier than expected on split traction surfaces, but largely drama-free nonetheless. And accelerating, even with heavy throttle over mixed traction, you feel this leading all-wheel drive system instantly and precisely redistributing engine power between and across the axles to keep you moving. 
It's a remarkable all-wheel drive system for a few reasons. It acts very fast, almost never wastefully spins a wheel, and can even overdrive a single rear wheel in some situations to help turn the car. Usually all-wheel drive is a traction enhancement and that's about it, but with super handling all-wheel drive, the system actually helps the car turn, steer, and even if you're really pushing it, slide slightly and beautifully on its axis. So it's a handling improvement as much as a traction improvement. And if you're already an owner and fan of a vehicle with super handling all-wheel drive, you'll be happy to know that for the TLX, they've made internal improvements that help the system act more consistently and quickly in a wider range of temperatures, including extreme cold. And speaking of extreme cold, you'll love the remote start, a two-way system that's far-reaching and tells you when the car fires up, and on numerous mornings at 30 below, it fired up fast and fuss-free without being plugged in. Mileage on my watch landed at a thirstier than expected 12 liters per 100 clicks, partly to blame are the extreme cold and the excessive remote starting. Gripes? Well, in most modes, the throttle and transmission are pretty lazy and really accurate. This car is a rolling showcase of the most modern technologies on the road and even has a futuristic push-button gear shifter, but the navigation graphics still look like something from my Nintendo back in the 90s. Ultimately, we're discreetly potent performance, great overall comfort, slick all-wheel drive technology, and a generous list of must-have features are a priority, as well as overall value. A TLX like this one should be considered a priority test drive. A fully loaded unit like this one comes in under 48. Thanks for watching.